Hey guys, Brandon McMillan here. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, um, swim jig fishing. Uh, it's going to be probably a pretty uh, pretty popular thing this week. Uh, there's a lot of brim on the beds, um, a lot of fry garters and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to rig it and, and uh, type of rod and line and reel and all the good all the good setup here. I'm going to show you the swim jig that I prefer. Um, it's a four x four swim jig. This one here is a uh, quarter ounce. Um, the water here at Kentucky Lake is kind of starting to go down a little bit out of the bushes. Um, mainly fishing really super shallow, foot, foot and a half. Um, so the quarter ounce works really good here. Um, and it's, uh, it's a little bit different if you, you can see. It's got uh, more of a streamlined head, which that's what makes uh, swim jig pretty much a swim jig. You want it to run straight, um, basically at 12 and six, kind of like a spinner bait. Um, but it's a little bit different. It's got more of a bullet shaped head, so it comes through the cover, rolls over logs, lay downs, stuff like that, through the grass. It's beautiful coming through the grass. Um, it's a little bit different than a flipping jig. It's got more of a you know, streamlined head than a big, you know, arky style broad um, type head. Um, this one here's got a good hook. It's got a four odd hook in it, four odd mustad hook. Um, just a real natural looking skirt. Like I said, the, the brim are on the beds this week. Um, you know, they're, and they, this one here about matches them about as good as we can uh, we can find, um, and yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a popular technique this week. I got a got a feeling. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what trailer that I use uh, the most. Uh, it's pretty much it's a bruiser. It's a little swimmer, um, and it just it just got it's got a big boot tail. It's got a real thin body going down towards the tail. It gives a lot of action, and and I pretty much use this. 99% of the time that I swim a jig, um, almost exclusively. Uh, if I'm gonna use a white, you know, trying to mimic a shad, go with a white bait. Uh, bluegill colored, I'm gonna go with a green pumpkin. That You know, just something that matches the jig that you're using. I'm gonna show you how to rig it. it it's pretty simple. You wanna roll it over to the back side. You always wanna hook it, hook it on the back, and you just thread it on, just like so. And the biggest trick to this is you want to make sure that it's 100% straight as you get it up there on the shank of the hook. You mash it in so you can skip it around and it won't come off. But that's pretty much what you want your profile to look like. You want it all streamlined, 100% straight. If not, it'll make the swim jig roll over on uh, on its side. Kind of run. It won't make it run crooked. It just won't won't run 100% true. And uh, if it's not straight, so you definitely want to make sure your trailer's straight. So your jig runs right. All right, I'm gonna show you a couple different retrieves that I use when, uh, when throwing a swim jig. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, my favorite is, is, is when you cast it out, they, like with this quarter ounce, it'll ride high in the water column. So you just kinda wanna, you, you, you know, you kinda thump it by, just kinda shake your rod tip as you're bringing it through the water. And, uh, and it, it gives it a little more, little more action, makes it kick side to side. Um, and that's my preferred way to fish a swim jig. Uh, I mean, really, that's, that, there's not a whole lot you can do with it. Straight retrieve works just as well. Use that a lot. Um, but for the most part, a swim jig will come through anything, so it kind of does its own action. You get the right trailer, and, it, and the jig pretty much does what it needs to do. It rolls over cover, which triggers bites. You can kind of pop it along a little bit, thump it, you know, is what I like to call it. Um, that'll trigger a few bites. For the most part, it'll come through just about anything and, uh, and get you some bites. Well, like you can see, we got a little bit of shoreline grass here. Um, very little, but that's kind of what brim are spawning in this week. And you can, as you're just going down the bank, you can kind of kind of see how it, how some of it sticks out a little bit further. So you just kind of cast it just, just past it and then I, like I said, I like to thump it, just kind of, just kind of twitch the rod tip just a little bit as it's coming through, because the jig's only going to run about a foot at the most, um, especially this quarter ounce. All right, I'll show you guys a little bit of the the rod and reel setup that I use. Um, for me personally, like when I'm swimming it around, like a lot of the shore grass and docks and and lay down and stuff like that, I like a little shorter rod. This is a 7.2. It's a heavy action MHX um, blank. I pair it with the titanium reel. Uh, I always swim a jig on that mid-range, you know, gear ratio, like a 7.1, 7.2, something like that. Um, 
And then I either use 20 pound gamma fluorocarbon or 65 pound braid, 50 to 65 pound braid. This week I seem like I get a lot more bites on, on fluorocarbon with, you know, 20. Makes that jig just kind of do a little different. You don't have the, uh, you know, it's such shallow water that uh, you don't really need braid. There's not a whole lot you have to cut through to get to, get, uh, to the fish. But um, that's it. I mean, you just need a, you need a good seven to seven and a half foot, you know, heavy action rod, something you can cast really good, and uh, that'll get you done. The action of the rod that I prefer is is a heavy with a fast tip. Um, this one here is a MHX rod, and and it's got a lot of backbone going through through the midsection of the rod, but it's got a nice soft tip, so you can cast a light swim jig. I mean, it doesn't with it's a quarter ounce. It doesn't weigh much more than that with it with a trailer. Um, and it allows that that tip allows you to kind of thump it through the cover just a little bit better and, and give it give it a little more action. All right, well there you have my uh, my full swim jig set up. Um, for the most part, that's that's a uh, exactly how I do it. Um, hopefully that'll help you catch some fish next time you're out on the water. Pretty much you can throw it year round anywhere you want to go throughout the country. So uh, yeah, hopefully that it'll uh, it'll help you guys out. So Brandon McMillan. Thanks for watching.